Okay guys, we're on our way out for the day, but wow, we started the morning with two meetings on the business. And it was so good, wasn't it? Like it was, we did one with our bookkeeper. Yeah. In America. And it's our American team. It was converting well, we broke even, all of that. It was like, great. But then I didn't want to continue doing that course that we were promoting in the funnel. So we closed that down, built up a new funnel, went with an Australian business and sunk about $110,000 into management fees and ads together, which, you know, over a period of six months. Yeah. And we saw literally like 0.001% return. What is happening with Facebook ads? So it definitely shook my confidence with it because yeah, it's, it's never fun to just flush six figures down the toilet. That's how it felt to me. Otherwise, no surprise. So rent is about almost 30% of the 51%. <laughs> That's the line oh, item I hate looking at because it just is like, ugh. Oh. How many times have you been in that office space at this point? Maybe one week, one full week in that entire time. Yeah. And then we did one with our amazing funnel specialist, Ali. We'll promote direct to the order bump. So that would be the affirmation hack. Because like if the LTO was just like a little bit too expensive for someone who doesn't know you. So there's nothing where we're like, oh, we can utilize this email sequence that we did or this little funnel that we did. We just scrap it and we start again. Yeah. So you're not- You're not interrupting at not all. Inter ah, I've, those meetings are what, I don't know, they keep you on your toes and it activates this level of, okay, action and energy, doesn't yeah. it? Activity, it's energy. So good. All right, we are about to head to school. The in-laws should be out here. So they're staying in the same hotel as us. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, let's do it. now that breakfast was absolutely lovely and I washed my hair at six o'clock this morning and basically jumped straight into meetings back-to-back -back meetings then took Teddy to school then had the walkthrough at the new house which I'm so excited about oh my god oh it's so nice we are literally walking through our house and we had rented it out fully furnished so that's why all of our core furniture is around there's obviously no artwork or anything oh my gosh this moment I have wished for for so long and you know that saying where there's no place like home even though we haven't actually physically lived here before we literally bought the place it settled because we built it from scratch went overseas for five months had it rented out for six months and here we are now literally about to move in oh my gosh i'm feeling all the feels and it's so nice to have my in-laws here because we're showing them the property for the first time as well so oh, it still smells brand new it's so beautiful and then um breakfast with the in-laws and here we are now so i'm gonna get my hair all done up because i'm about to jump on stories for on instagram to talk about amplify and I'm going to save these particular videos to highlights. So yeah, it's nice to just have nice hair and I've air dried it. I've done my treatment through it and now I'm ready to curl it and bring some body to it. You'll see Michael in the background there too. I'm not sure if he's plugged in. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> you know, if you've watched previous vlogs, you'll know that he loves a little bit of bed action, if you know what I mean. <laughs> love these talk to camera 
get ready with me style parts of vlogs. Let me know actually in the comments if you also get really mesmerized by it. I guess there's something about watching progress, in this case, the progress of my hair getting curled, and also just listening to someone chat about stuff. I don't know, it feels very soothing. So, wow, this morning, I'll tell you what, we had two meetings. I woke up at 6 a.m., had a shower, jumped on the first call with our two finance dudes. They are actually so cool. One of them is based in Austin, right, pretty much right near where our office is. So it's really nice to know we've got someone local over there as well, looking after our books. And um, the partner of the business, he just has this really, really nice charisma about him. It's very familiar. You just, you know, I don't know, you feel very safe, not just talking about the numbers, but just having real chats. He's got that sort of aura and he was taking us through the financials of our American based business. As of now, we have an Australian based business that we're looking to move across to the States. And I've talked about this in previous podcasts and blogs, so I'm not going to go into it too much as to why we're doing that on this one. But we have our part of our finances over there now. And it's really cool seeing it all come together, learning about their own, um, you know, like tax laws and all those sorts of things. Not that that part is like super fun, but it's getting our head around it. I think that'll just be that steep learning curve. But for now, it was really quite motivating to see where our financials are and year to date from January, where we're tracking, we're at about 23% profit, which ideally we'd love to be at 30%. However, there's a whole bunch of reasoning as to why the American business is sitting so low profit wise. And that's because we have certain visa stipulations that we need to meet, including having a full blown in-person office. So we're paying for rent for an office in the United States, even though we're currently here in Australia. That is just one small thing that we need to account for. And the way that Michael and I see it is that it's a real investment into not just our business, but into our future and wanting to have this multi-nation type of lifestyle where we can sort of, you know, operate out of the United States where a lot of you are from, a lot of my clients are from the States, and then also have the freedom to enter the United States without needing to be on a tourist visa. And they're really strict over there with tourist visas and how many times you enter in and out of the country, which is fair enough. So running a business out of there is gonna give us an additional four years. But for now, we just have to demonstrate that we're investing into the US economy. And one of those reasons, one of the, one of the ways we're proving that is having a physical office there, hiring staff in the United States, having our business set up there. So we are on our way, that's for sure. Found that link for the uh, Amplify mastermind that you wanted. Amazing. I'm currently opening up the doors for my signature mastermind it's called Amplify. And that mastermind is where I help women start their businesses and grow to six figures. And basically you walk out the other side of this mastermind with all the tools that you need to grow your coaching business to your first six. I have had over 300 women go through this. And when I think about that and the impact that my work has done and how many of those women have gone on to build their six figure empires, and then they've gone on to support and coach other women to do the same or whatever it is that they're teaching in this world, that's when I can really connect so much with the purpose work stuff, more than just having a business that turns over and makes heaps of money and cash flow, which is of course amazing, but it's also being able to see the greater impact that it has on women everywhere. So Michael's just sent me a link for actually an alumni, Amplify alumni, Elisa was in Amplify a couple of rounds ago and she has decided to rejoin, which is part of always a part of our strategy in terms of how we look after 
clients who are returning and retention of our happy customers and clients. So it's very, very cool. I just, oh. Before I finish up here, my second meeting that I had today was with Ali. Now, Ali manages our uh, funnels. There's a whole history on funnels in my business and the big learning curves that I've experienced with funnels. If you're currently going through a little bit of a disenchanted time with funnels because it is such a minefield to get through and to understand really well, don't worry, it's very common and I've been there too. I have been there too. So Ali came into my life earlier Oh, actually early last year. And her and I, we were, were in a self-run mastermind with me and my friend Megan and my other friend Taylor. And then it's me and Ali. So we are the awesome foursome. We catch up once a month and we talk all about business and life. It's so nice to have girlfriends like that who just get the mindset of being a solo online entrepreneur and coach. Anyway, so Ali has been sharing all her wins and amazing things that she's been doing in her business. And eventually I just sort of said to Ali, I think I really need you to help me in my business. And I trust you so much because we're mastermind friends and buddies. So she came into the business and started building out these funnels for us. Look at this, so curly. I'm going to let that cool and sit and then I'll brush it out. And today we sat down and she basically gave us the green light to let us know we're ready to rock and roll. There's been so much work in the background with me developing the funnel content. She's putting together the finicky little bits with the tech, like how one email gets automated and then you go into this course and then the payment link comes up and then an email comes out again, like all those things which I'm not great at. That's not my zone of genius. She just thinks systems. She just gets how systems work. I get how content and delivery works. I get how sales works from a selling straight direct to customer perspective. She gets how selling works from a systems-based perspective and knowing how the consumer moves through a funnel. So we are literally the best match and I am so excited and she's just a grounding energy, a grounding force in my business to keep the eye on the prize with that part of my company that's growing. And it's just been absolutely wonderful. How good is it working with Ali? She's the greatest. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard much of that with the mic being here, but we love you, Ali. You're amazing. Okay, I'm gonna brush out my hair now and then let's get to doing stories for Amplify. <laughs> What are you up to? I'm posting the pinned signature post for Amplify. We just opened the doors and what I always do out of habit is I create the signature post. So it looks like this. Ta -da! We'll actually probably put it up here somewhere so you can see it and um, it reads really well. And what I'll do now actually is I'm going to pin it to the top so that when you go to my profile, you can have three pinned. So I've got my welcome video. I've got the one that I've just done and then another signature post to do with the mastermind. And I've also matched my profile picture to the colors of my latest launch. So we're good to go. And now we can head out and get something really exciting for the business and also maybe some lunch. Let's go. best clients ever. This is one of my private clients, Emma, and she's just messaged me saying she's so excited for me to move back into my own house. How lovely is that? Seriously. his phone luckily the system works look at that nasty crack 
<laughs> Look at Michael's nasty crack. <laughs> Gonna pick up something. <laughs> you thought our vlogs were good now. See this? Dun, da, da, dun. Spielberg, We're... baby. Spielberg. We've upgraded. We're serious vloggers. Yay, I'm so excited that we've got that. We've been doing all of our vlogging on the trusty old iPhone, which is amazing quality. But because we're going to London, I wanted to have some better quality images and videos, and I want to better the quality for the podcast as well. So this camera that we got, it was highly suggested by a lot of creators. Let's see how we go. I'm hungry. We're at this food court. And it's well known for Asian cuisine, actually. So, oh, I think they're open. They're open. Being made. Yay. Okay, let's check it. Oh, soy chicken and kway tiao. Although, where's the rest of it? <laughs> Looks very small, doesn't it? They must have on a diet. <laughs> what do you do? It feels as though you haven't delivered on the thing you were hoping to. As you're sharing this stuff with me, I'm like, it sounds like it's even better. What she got was even deeper. What she got was even more transformational than what you or her could have ever expected. <laughs> How are you going there, mister? Got our, stuff. Goods everywhere. Got our stuff from storage. Just the essentials. Ew. So excited! Taking stuff out of storage and starting to put it back in the house. Gonna turn the lights on. Hello, old friends. right now in my life. I have the Amplify launch, I have a new funnel, the America business is going on, a second business is building out, my in-laws are here, we're moving out of the hotel, back into our home home, and then I'm going to London in like six weeks. There is a lot going on in my world. There is a lot of energy that goes out daily, huge decisions being made all the time, small decisions that impact the way that I live out my life and the way that I lead myself in my business. And amongst all of that, serving my clients and being there for them and fully serving out for the time that they're inside of a coaching container with me. So I wanna talk about how I do all those things. But first, let's do a bit of a warm up. I'll come back to you after I've done that. We'll come back in a second and we'll talk about having it all, doing it all, but not burning yourself out in the process. So guys, in a turn of events, and ironically, I was speaking about how I've got so much in my head. Literally, I forgot that I had booked myself in to a delicious 90 minute Reiki healing and massage with my girl Amy and so I packed up all of my gym equipment didn't I? I might hop in the car and I'm on my way <laughs> even like the family were like oh let's get Japanese for dinner I ordered some Japanese food I'm playing Yahtzee I'm like yeah let's do that I'll, I'll go for a gym workout finish off the vlog have a shower and then we'll hang I'm now going to go for an hour and a half to two hours because Amy and I chat. But I'll show you around Amy's place and we're on our way. Let's go. All right. It is literally several hours later. I have just pulled in back home and I've got crazy massage hair hair but wow guys i want to come back to what i was talking about earlier at the gym 
And if you're in a stage right now, and this is really common mid-year, if you're coming up to your summer break in the Northern Hemisphere and there's just a lot going on with family, business, love, relationships, money stuff, if there's a lot of activity going on in your mind, the one thing that's really going to keep you alive, and I mean alive from your sacral, alive from your soul, is to keep to the daily discipline. Keep to the things that hold you firm to your value system. Keep to the things that make you feel strong. So for me, going to the gym three or four times a week and pumping some iron makes me feel strong in my body. And going for long walks most mornings before I start my day keeps me focused and it gets me into my gratefulness practice. Journaling every single day. Massage for me is a definitely an outlet of self-love. So whatever that is, as an entrepreneur, keep to the things that make you feel alive. That's going to be so much more important in the long run than your day-to-day -day checklist that never, ever ends. All right. I hope you love this vlog, you guys. If you did, let me know in the comments. I'm so grateful for so many of you who are watching. It's just growing and growing and growing. I love it. I love doing these for you. And whatever you want to see in terms of the day in the life of an entrepreneurial life, an online coach, please do leave it in the suggestions box slash comments below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.